Well, I want to go back to Dion because this all started with him and his idea that he planted and I just kept grinding on for a week was, I want to ask you, Dion, how did you know what enough was, right? We've talked about freedom number. That's a number. To me, it's all about a like, I got to be able to see it, feel it, and really make it mine. This this nebulous enough stuff, man, freaking hurts my soul. So help me understand it. Okay, so teachable moment. I started the video with the thing that piques the interest so you, you, you want to hear the answer. It's the right amount of cash flow with the least amount of units. But here's the actual N1 equation to figure out how much is enough for the individual. We have a freedom number. At what point does passive cash flow that comes in that we don't have to sell our lives for one hour at a time make it to where work is optional? That's the freedom number most people focus on. They look at their expenses for the last six months. They project what's going to happen to healthcare. They look at the expenses that are going to go down because they're not paying the high taxes of working. They're not saving for retirement. They don't have the commute. They can run all of the math on that. The equation for how much is enough for me was what is the multiplier of cash flow that takes you to the point, like Matt said, where you don't have to think about money. And this is actually on a sliding scale. The lower your multiply, your cash flow number is, the bigger the multiplier you need. Yes. If you can live on $1,000 a month, you should probably have a five or seven times multiplier of cash flow coming in because of the impact of a health concern, the impact of a long recession, prolonged government shutdown. Mine is around 3,000 to 3,500 a month. I have to okay. spend money to get to 5,000. Like I recently just bought another gaming laptop that cost more than any vehicle I bought until 2018. Oh and my I have gosh convince myself to do this when the money is just literally piling up in the bank. Right. Yeah. So I'm still, I still got Matt's frug frugality mindset on money is, is scarce. It's but I realize it's not right. <laughs> so for me, it was about a four time multiplier. So if, if I set my freedom number at 4,000, right. Cause I, I very rarely went above 4,000 unless I was buying something big because I was house hacking. When I started having passive cash flow that was 16,000 or more a month, I felt silly going to work. Yeah. So the multiplier of, of and if I needed 20,000 a month, I think a two time multiplier would have been plenty, right? The, so the bigger your freedom number is, the smaller the multiplier you need. And so depending on how frugal you are, you might need a bigger freedom number, you might need a bigger <clears throat> multiplier than your freedom number to say, okay, I'm never gonna work again. That's the actual N plus one math to figure out for the individual, take your freedom number, the higher it is, the smaller the multiplier, the lower it is, the higher the multiplier. Folks, I want to ask for some audience participation now because I'm just interested that way. A, do you know what your freedom number is? Put it in the comments below. And then B, what's your multiplier? Let us know what you think your target is to get to that enough variable. I you know, I look at some of the biggest kind of content creators, the, the motivators out there, and it, it never seems like they stop growing. And I got to ask, I go, what kind of life is that, right? In my case, we did it for 20 years. Dion, I think you did it for eight or nine years. Matt, I think you're on year 10 or 11. Um, no, no, you're on year like 15. 21. 21. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Right. 21. And I don't see us, all, any of us, really pushing it, right? We're, we're not all gas. I mean, there was a point in my career, I will admit, I was all gas, no break. Yeah. <laughs> All gas, no. What's a break, right? Rip it out of the car. I don't need that thing. But now it's like, I'm not even sure I get in the car unless it's a great deal. Back to your point, Matt. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. Go no, go ahead. I was going to say that, you know, in 2024, I'm going to do something uh, just because I can, right? I'm going to try to learn a new, new buy box in a new city and document the process, not because I need another 200 or 400 bucks in cash flow if I buy something. It's just to see just to have fun, just to mm -hmm. push myself, get uncomfortable. Um, that's what enough is, right? We, when you could take a month long vacation in Asia, you could follow that up with a three week one in Europe and you could buy a crazy stupid house in a second city just because you can that, you know, enough, enough feels good. I don't, I don't really get the idea of I need a, a hundred employees. I need this. I need that. that just, I it, Maybe I'm broken. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I chose to sit down and, look at the Vista and enjoy life. That's what enough is for me. 